Hey peeps, we're going to have a look at wrist seat today. Oh, and and, and uh, Pippa wants some attention right now. Uh, yeah, it's cute, but I can't do a wrist seat with you like this. No, we will see. Anyway, wrist seat is one that uh, I see a lot of people struggle with, or maybe not struggling with, but I think a lot of people teach this very differently. Some people try, uh, keep the legs in front, but just wide. I like to take the legs back. Um, so all my weight is backwards. Um, yeah, so, you know, uh, again, no right or wrong with this move as such. Obviously, just always a safer way. Uh, try and always tilt as well. Um, if you if you tilt, you'll, you'll increase the grip. You can also get a bit more of a butt grip as well. Um, if you pull your shorts up a little bit, maybe pull them up your butt a little bit, you'll get that extra um, butt skin grip um, to help you grip the ball. Oh, you're so cute. You are, but i got to put you down now. Yes, I can't teach like this. No, it's not happening. Right, you go down with your brother. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then I'll break it down. Okay, so you're gonna start in your seat position and you're gonna to tilt to one side. Now, I teach this with a tuck leg to begin with, so most people find that slightly easier. Um, I just showed you with a straight leg there, straight leg seat, and then just brought the legs up straight. But you may find if you struggle, is make sure that you tilt, really make sure that we get that seated, first, seated position first. So if you're gonna do it from the floor, I mean, you can pull up if you have the strength. If not, we're gonna extend one leg or lift one leg up, pull the hip, close to the pole. You can have one hand up high as well. You usually lift whichever leg is up, same side hand. And then I'm just gonna cross the other one underneath. I'm tilting, okay? So whichever hand is up, that same side hip is slightly higher, okay? So the other one's dropped. I'm then gonna move my hands down. I'm then going to start to straighten my legs. So I cross at my ankles, but as you can see, I'm still tilted. And I'm gonna lift both legs up. So I'm trying to get more of this butt cheek on the pole, okay? So you've got to get the legs up to get that butt grip. If you don't get up high enough, you'll be here and you'll just end up sliding, okay? And you just won't feel secure enough to do anything with your legs. So tilt, straighten, lift the legs as high as you can. Imagine your legs are trying to touch the pole because the more you can lift the legs, the more you can actively push the butt cheek into the pole, okay? That's what you want. That's your gripping point, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Get your shorts up your bum a little bit, expose a little bit of skin grip, and that will help you. So tilt, straighten, hands low, okay? Round chest level. Lift both legs up, push the butt cheek into the pole. Then from here, you keep one hand at sh uh, shin level, the other hand goes beneath the butt. So I'm not lifting the butt to get underneath, I need that butt cheek on first, then the hand goes under. I've got my top arm is now straight. Pull the shoulders back. You don't want to be in a rounded position. Back, then bend both legs, but keep the legs up, and then take the knees towards your shoulder. So I'm pushing that butt cheek in. Then start to straighten your legs nice and wide and think about taking them past your shoulders. Bring your legs back together, cross, release the hand, then pop up. Okay? So it's a tricky one, but if you're trying to keep that top arm slightly bent, you're going to feel really wobbly and you're not going to feel like you can take your legs further back. Like I was saying before, try and, try and bring the legs up high. If you try and split the legs without bringing them high. You're not gonna feel like you can transition your weight backwards. And again, you're gonna feel wobbly and you'll probably end up spinning. So what I mean by that is if you're here and then you place your hand underneath, which I see a lot of people do, and then you're like, people are like this, okay? Or like this, <laughs> whatever it is, because their legs aren't high enough and their butt cheek isn't on the pole. So lift first, see that I'm in this V position, then hand underneath. Then you're going to find it easier to bring the legs the same side of the pole as you are. And keep pulling the shoulders back. Don't round here because you'll end up spinning. So give that a go, okay? See how you get on. Even if you just get in that V position, okay? If you've got the book, have a look at basic martini. Okay, so I know some of you may know martini is a different move. But my basic martini is basically that V position. So it's getting the legs up, so show you what I mean. 
and just practice that. So we're going to sit, straighten the legs, tilt to the side, hands low around chest level. Lift both legs up high. You want to create that V position. So shoulders are forwards here. Now my shoulders are back. Can you see my back is rounded? My back is flat. Okay, and then you can bend one leg. Then the other, I'm squeezing the knees together. So this is what I call a basic martini. And just practicing that V position is just gonna help you so much with nailing the wrist seat because it's gonna help you get your legs high enough to take them back, okay? And it just takes time, okay? So just take each step as it goes. Try not to get to the end position before you've worked up to it. Hope that makes sense. So give it a go. Of course, try the other side as well. Talk to the other side. And uh, yeah. All right, can't wait to see them. Bye.